Welcome to this video. In this video, I will explain you how you can read the balance sheet of any company. So I have gone to this website moneycontrol.com and you can search for any stock, suppose Infosys, and I'm gonna explain you how you can read the balance sheet of this company. So once we are on this page what you have to do is you have to click on financials and there you will be taken to the balance sheet of that company so here you can see that uh, there is a balance sheet uh, for each year starting from 2012 2013 14 15 16 for each year uh, the the balance sheet of this particular company has been given over here and let us start with uh, some parameters over there so balance sheet has got uh, two uh, has got simple equation that is assets is equal to equity plus liability so you have to remember this formula every company has got some assets some equity and some liabilities so assets should always be equal to equity and liabilities sum of equity and liabilities so normally equity is always written at the top for example over here you can see that equity share capital of this company on this date that is march 2016 was 1148 crores and total share capital is this one then reserves and surplus so this is actually the earnings that you have that uh, this company has made they get accumulated over time over a period of time and then this reserves is nothing but the total earnings of that company accumulated over a period of time and then total shareholders funds is nothing but the sum of this uh, total share capital and total reserves and surplus so sum of this is is equal to total equity or net worth uh, is also called as net worth 57,157 crores then uh, we have got the non-current liabilities and current liabilities so non-current liabilities are like liabilities or the payouts from the company that is the cash that flows out of the company and considering the longer periods for example if the company has taken uh, long-term loans like uh, that last for more than one year those types of loans or debts uh, are considered uh, to be long current liabilities so right now 73 crores is the liability of this particular company long-term liabilities and non-current uh, lab uh, total non-current liabilities are given over here 73 then current liabilities are all the uh, expenses or the uh, like payouts that the company has to make in within a year so in that there is a trade payables other current liabilities in short term provision so it has got a lot of current liabilities like 15,530 crores and over here they have summed up these two numbers uh, liabilities total shareholders funds and non-current liabilities so total capital and liabilities is 72,767 this is the total equity plus liability and then it starts with assets so in assets we have got non-current assets then current assets and you can uh, notice that this value 72,767 is matching with this one and in the assets uh, are considered like whatever company is earning or uh, company is getting the payments from so those are considered as, as for example if a company's office it is considered as a fixed asset and uh, its value is recorded over here so that is how uh, you can read the balance sheet of uh, any company at any point of time like uh, when you say that a company has got a healthy balance sheet it means that it has got a very negligible debt for example here non-current liabilities are very less and negligible as compared to the shareholders funds and uh, the uh, ratio debt to equity ratio is also very important it should be very low for the uh, balance sheet to, uh, to be considered as a healthy balance sheet so that is how you can consider a balance sheet or a real balance sheet of any company
Thank you for watching this video.